Hey guys, welcome back. So today's video, I'm going to do a collective haul slash favorites video. So just some items I've been really loving over the past few months or this whole year. Um, so first up, I just want to um, remind you guys, if you're in need of a new electric toothbrush, I really still stand by the Bruce brand. Um, over the past, I would say definitely over quarantine, I've been sent quite a few toothbrushes from different companies um, just to try out and see if I want to recommend them just because I'm a dental hygienist. And I still think the Bruce one is my favorite. I've been using another one and I'm just going to tell the company I'm not going to review it for them. Um, I'm just not that impressed with it. So definitely the Bruce one I recommend. I just recently switched back to it after trying this other one and my teeth just feel so, so much cleaner. It's definitely not the cheapest toothbrush in the world, but it's not the most expensive either. It's kind of like a good in-between price point. And I also have a coupon code. I usually leave it in the description of my videos because I really do believe that this one is a very good one. So just wanted to put that out there. Sometimes, you know, it's a nice gift to give somebody, especially with Christmas coming up. So I'll start the video off with two products that Feel Ground sent me. And, um, you know, they're not telling me what to say. I just really genuinely like their products. If you've watched some of my videos before, I have quite a few videos um, in collab with them. So they sent me their sandals. So this is the Seaside sandal. All of their shoes are barefoot shoes, but they're meant to look a little bit more stylish than a typical barefoot shoe. So um, again, if you're new here, I do have problems with my one foot. My feet are a little bit wide. So I prefer the majority of the time to wear this type of shoe. I'm a pretty casual type of person. So obviously I still have tons of other shoes that I wear and love and I, I show them. Um, but primarily I prefer barefoot shoes most of the time. I just believe it's healthier for our feet and our body that way. Um, so their seaside sandal they sent me. So this is a size nine US and typically I'm always a size nine. So these fit true to size. These are so comfy. I actually almost think this might be my favorite um, one of their shoes. I don't know, it is just so, so comfy, so light. They were great to put on after the gym. If you're just like walking around doing errands after, kind of lets your feet breathe. Um, super, super pliable, bendable. Um, anytime, if I've worn them to get a pedicure, they're always asking me, they're like, oh, what is this brand? And I got it in the deep olive color, which I thought was nice, because typically I always pick black white and things and I really like it. I would really recommend this even the very first day that I got it I was wondering I'm like oh you know sometimes sandals with the strap back here it will rub into your heel. It didn't at all. I walked over 10,000 steps that day. I took note. My feet didn't even have to break them in at all. They're really really comfy and they're very um, easy to adjust at the back and I usually just take the strap right off just to slide my foot in and then it's it's really quite easy to get into them so I would really recommend these and then they also recently sent me their original luxe shoe so I opted to get the white in this and um, their shoes are vegan so but it's made to look like a leather look I don't want to touch the bottom because they're a little bit dirty so again these are a size 9 shoe and you can see they have like an anatomical toe box, which are really good. The only thing I will say about these, unfortunately, they're about half a size too big on me. Some of their shoe sizes do come in half sizes. Unfortunately, there's not an eight and a half. And I think in this one, I would require an eight and a half. I think recently too, they did tell me that they made their toe box a little bit wider. So that could be why this is fitting a little bit big. So typically in my barefoot running shoes, I wear toe socks or a thinner sock. This one though, I just wore like a thicker regular athletic sock and it was okay I just tied them a bit tighter but I'm just saying that you know if you're kind of in between sizes I would probably size down on this and if you have really wide feet you will probably really like these but again they just have like a very thin bendable sole again they're really comfy I don't think they look like a barefoot shoe at all this would be a great travel shoe because it kind of matches everything like you could even pair these with like a really long dress in the summer I think that would look smart and your feet will not be sore walking around all day I really really like these so both of these so this one runs true to size this one is about half a size too big but thank you guys so much for sending them to me again but I think this is actually my favorite Okay, next I wanted to show you this little tiny purse I got from Maj um, over the summer. I've used this bag so, so much. I thought when I got it, I'm like, am I really gonna use it that much? But it was on sale. Um, it's a their mini pyramid bag and you can take the straps off if you want. I just usually wear it crossbody. 
it is so cute it has like um the handles are magnetized so kind of close easily so basically inside it has a little pocket so i just have a little comb perfume i put my keys and uh cards maybe like a lip product um it will fit a mask so it doesn't really fit my phone, but I usually put my phone in my pocket, my back pocket, or I just carry it, so I don't mind. I have probably never in my life got so many compliments on this little thing. Like even men, they're like, oh, that's such a cute little purse. Like anytime that I'm at the cash register checking out, everyone always gives this thing a compliment. I have never got more compliments on anything ever. And the reason I ended up buying it, I found it at the Bay and I think it was marked down to $132. But then that day that I went, it was an extra 20% off. So it was a really, really good deal. And I think it's so cute. They used to have other colors I don't know if you guys can still find it. Maybe you can find it even on Poshmark or something like that. But I really, really like it. And um, it came with like a little dust bag. So next up, these two products. They're from Asian Nature. Um, so one of them is her product. It is the Holy Mane. This is the Hair, Skin, and Nails supplement. It's like a collagen supplement. And basically in it, it's just wild caught, non-GMO, kosher fish, and pearl. This is probably the best collagen I've ever tried. It has absolutely no taste, no odor. You can mix it in anything. You can put it in if you wanted. You could put it in coffee, smoothies, juice, water. I usually just add it to a juice. It's really, really good. It is always sold out. I recently just like got my hair trimmed because the ends were a little bit dry, but um, basically I'm just working on trying to get my hair healthier. I think I actually might I don't know, I kind of want to either dye it or maybe tone it darker for winter. I've never really done that before, but we'll see. Um, yeah, basically, I was using this even in the first week. I noticed right at my roots, the hair started looking a little bit shinier. My nails were growing really quickly. I really like this. It is always sold out. So, you know, if you try it once and realize you like it, maybe the next time get a couple because it's it gets sold out for months. I learned about this brush from her. And it is the S Heart S Scalp Brush. It's from Japan. I just saw her using it. And um, basically, you're supposed to use it. I was reading the instructions. You're supposed to use it in the shower. And it's really supposed to like clean and stimulate your scalp. It doesn't really work that well on wet hair. But I ended up liking it on dry hair. I just find it really, it kind of feels good. It does stimulate your scalp. But I, I think it personally works better when you have dry hair. I should say too, after I've been using the collagen, I just noticed my skin, it looks a little bit more radiant, glowy. Um, and I definitely, I need a facial. I haven't probably had a facial in like three years, but I definitely, I think I actually noticed more in my skin compared uh, with my hair. So I would really recommend this one. Okay, next up, I have a couple more hair products. So I saw a lady using this. You can see, let's see if I can show you. It's maybe not that noticeable because I did use this this morning, but I have a big cowlick on this side of my part and a lot of the time I like to wear like kind of like a sleek ponytail, pull it back like this. And I saw a lady using this tool in one of her videos. She said it was really good. It's from Pattern and it just looks like that and it comes in a nice little velvet pouch and it was very affordable. Like I was really impressed with the quality considering how affordable it was. And yeah, this side, it's almost like a super, super dense toothbrush and a little comb there. And I just find, um, I really only use this if I'm trying to like lay down any flyaways or to get that cowlick to stick down, I kind of like will really kind of pull it like that. And um, this I also bought, it's their edge control, but you can use it for your edges or if you want to do like a slicked down pony look or a slicked back look. So I really like it and it smells nice. Yeah, it's kind of that um, type of material. It has like a springy texture to it. Yeah, I really like the smell. It's a very light scent. So a couple more hair products from Anthropology. So I got these hair ties when I was in there one day. I think they're the slip ones and they're just the small scrunchy. I just find they're really good. Like they really, really hold your hair. You know, it's like very hard to find hair ties that you like for your thickness of hair. Really, really like these. And then also too, I got a couple clips. Um, they have kind of like pearls on them. I thought they were really pretty and they actually really Hold your hair back. Um, I bought a couple like fashion-y clips and they're just kind of crappy. They don't hold your hair back well. These really work. I'll just do it on this side of my head so you can see it a little bit better but yeah that's like essentially how it would look from the back. I thought it was just really pretty with the 
the fake pearls there. So next up is just a couple beauty products. So probably the last year, year and a half, I've been using the Agent Nature face wash and I really, really like it. And there's also an oil that comes with it. It was just out of stock the one day that I needed to replenish mine. So I went back to this one and I really love this one as well. I got it at Detox Market. It is quite expensive, but I find it lasts a long time. And it's from One Love Organics. It's their botanical enzyme cleansing oil with botanical vitamin B and it's just that type of oil it will literally melt everything off your face you don't even really need a face wash after you just kind of rinse it with water and then it takes everything off it's really really good um, the lady there told me they can never keep this in stock just because everyone loves it so much and it leaves your skin really hydrated not dried out at all so I really really like this and also the agent nature one and then this lip gloss I'm kind of someone I own basically like one or two lip products and this I still really really like it's the Fenty Beauty the clear lip gloss and yeah it's just in glass slipper and it's the gloss balm lip gloss I really like it I have it on right now usually I just put a little bit of a lip liner and add this over top and I absolutely love it um, two products that I finally did end up trying and now I regret it it was the biggest waste of money so I have never tried any of the, like the Kardashians makeup I'm not like super big into makeup but it recently came here to Canada um, the Kylie Cosmetics so I was at Shoppers Drug Mart the other day and I saw it so I was like oh maybe I'll try like a lip kit product it was hands down the worst makeup ever and I'm kind of mad that I spent I think it was 40 some dollars Canadian and I don't know I don't think I could take it back to Shoppers I don't know I don't think it's like Sephora it almost felt like dollar store makeup um, the matte lip, I just don't think it does anything for me. I completely dried out my lips. My lips were peeling for two days. My boyfriend was like, no, no, that does not look good. And just, I don't know, I was really not impressed. I'm like, I cannot believe like this is the product that launched her into being a billionaire. Just kind of shows you when you have that many followers, even if we all just try one of her products once, it's so, so much money that she's getting. Um, yeah, so I was not, imp I will never, I'll, I'll never try anything of hers again. And then, um, the other thing too was the, I, I kept getting Instagram ads for it was the Glossier. I've never tried any other products, the boy brow pomade and like the eyebrow pencil, the, the flick one. And I thought it was absolutely horrible too. So I don't know if you've been thinking of either one of those, I would definitely say skip them. Okay, two fragrances I want to talk about. I absolutely love these. So I need to make, I don't know why I haven't, I need to make a whole um, video about Bredo. So this one, sorry if it's showing backwards, I'm just filming on my phone, but um, so this is the Bredo fragrance Rose of No Man's Land. So it was my boyfriend's birthday recently. Usually always with his birthday present, I will throw in, I'll just pick a new Bredo um, cologne or perfume that, because a lot of them we share. So I just kind of always add it in with a birthday present. So this is the one I picked. I will say I love it on myself, but I was really envisioning him wearing it because, so I'm not typically someone, I wouldn't say in general, I love the smell of roses. You know, a lot of kind of rose scented perfumes are, have a little bit of like an older sense, like for old ladies, this is like, oh my God, I don't know. I love it. I love it, you guys. Like it just smells so good especially when he wears it. It's just, I feel like men don't typically wear something with rose notes. When he walks by, I'm like, oh my God, like I'm in heaven. It's so good. And you just need one spray of it and it lasts all day. So yes, these are very expensive, but they last a really long time. I think I have, I don't know, I think we have maybe six or seven right now. I've probably owned about 12 of them over my lifetime 12 of the different fragrances i've tried lots of them though i always get samples really like this so i would say this is feminine and masculine i would say though i kind of almost prefer this more on him it's just a very unique scent and then the other one that i absolutely love i'm gonna buy it um again soon is the dip tea Eau rose um de toilette but it is it's just so good and I typically don't like anything that smells like roses so if you're like me give those two a smell if you're in the department store because I think you will really like them they're really really good 
I will say probably my most worn pair of jeans this summer was the Levi's dad jeans. I got these in my um, true to size for Levi's, a size 30. The waist is a little bit stretched out, but I definitely need it for my legs. So I would say stick to your true size if you're curvy and if you're very petite and have like narrow hips, you can probably size down. They do get a little bit wrinkly, which is weird. It's almost like I'd have to iron them, which kind of sucks, but yeah, I really like them. They're just like my go-to when I don't know what to wear. And I kind of like that the waist is a little bit loose, so you don't have to squeeze into them and they're not hurting your stomach. I've been meaning to try this underwear for so long, so I just took this one out of the package. I have a few of them. This is from Skims, and this is their Fits Everybody Thong. I got this from Essence. I would suggest if you're in Canada, order Skims off of Essence because you don't have to pay, pay duties. So... <laughs> The only thing is this is pretty expensive for what it is like this was $30 Canadian it's like just like a tiny little piece of fabric but I heard a plus size person saying that this was her go-to underwear she replaced everything in her wardrobe I actually I agree so I have size mediums and larges they're really really stretchy this is a size large even though when it comes it's gonna look so so tiny it's just super super stretchy um, I can fit into either or I just kind of always size up with underwear i never want it to be too tight i really like the width here because it doesn't roll and it just lays flat and it's really undetectable under leggings i love it so if you have never tried skims i will definitely link this below these are really really good i kind of i'm like that lady i want to replace all my underwear with that it's just expensive um this also i got from essence it was just a good um top to wear to the gym it's a size medium. It's from Nike. It's like a mock neck um, little tank top. I really like it. I, I don't know. I like when stuff comes up like that. It's very flattering. And they also have a long sleeve one as well. And I think it was only $30 or $35, so pretty good price. Um, this is one of my favorite sweatshirts I've been liking. It's like the Rotate by Burger Christensen Rotate Sunday. And what size is this? I think it's a medium but it's really big yeah it's a medium but I almost should have got a small it's really oversized but you've probably seen a lot of people wear them it's very long it's good it's just like a really good sweatshirt when you don't know what to wear this I got from Urban Outfitters I have not worn it out yet but I tried it on and I really liked it it's a long black and button-down shirt dress I really like it I used to have one like this and I got I think yeah, I got the size large just so it was oversized. So here is the oversized shirt dress. So I just have jeans underneath, but for fall, I think it would be really cute paired with tights. And I kind of like how it like comes off the shoulder a little bit. And also the sleeve is a little bit of a bell sleeve, which is kind of cute. Yeah, like I said, I used to have a, I used to have a shirt dress like this and I would always wear it when I didn't know what else to wear or just pair it with like black tights. This, I should have got the size medium. I ended up getting a large. I didn't know how this brand fit. I got the Anina Bing Sport Leggings, and it just has a little logo here. So they're a little big around the waist. I'm not actually sure if you can get these types of leggings tailored. I'm going to take it to the tailor and see if they can take the waist in a little bit. But I really like how they feel. It's almost like a dressier legging. Really, really like it. And they have a matching sports bra, and it just says, like, Anina Bing Sport on the back really really nice and last but not least i am so excited i found this lady's jewelry so it's the choker that i'm wearing and I have a couple other or a few other pieces um maybe make a dedicated video so i found this brand on essence that's why i love essence they really do a good job they're buyers sourcing unique products from all over the world so i'm not sure i'll show you close up after so this is a choker so the brand is female run and she makes everything handmade in france and I picked up some of this in the Essence sale and it is quite affordable. It is fashion jewelry, but so far the quality is really, really amazing. And um, it's a lady, uh, Justine Clanquet, and that's her name. She's from France. She hand makes everything beautiful. Um, yeah, I just thought this choker was really unique with the silver on the one side and then the green there. So I'm just looking at the box and this one is called the River Choker and... Um, also, I'll show you a couple of the other pieces. I also got, this one is called the, what is it called? I'm not sure. I'll link everything down below. 
I can't remember the name of this. This is just a very sil simple piece. It's a choker again. You can also make it a little longer as a necklace. One half of it is gold, one half is silver. It almost looks like, you know, it just looks like that. So I'll show it to you on. And there's the other piece. So this one is just like a nice kind of everyday piece. And I like that it's silver and gold. You can kind of match it to all your jewelry. And um, most of her jewelry, you could also double up and wear as a bracelet or you can spin it around. Um, this is supposed to be a choker. I think my neck is, it doesn't, definitely doesn't look like it. I always think my neck is though a little bit smaller than um, what they consider choker length because I find a lot of chokers that I get are too long. But yeah, you can also like clip it over there and let it dangle like that. So her pieces are really nice. And then I'll show you, um, she makes really cool earrings. So I'll put them on and, and I'll show you. So now I put the earrings on. I think these are called the Dana earrings, but again, I'll link them below. So this is how I found her on Essence because I just saw she has a lot of asymmetrical earrings. And I was just like, it's so unique and they're very, very comfy. They're not too heavy. I absolutely love them. I think it kind of looks better when your hair is pulled back. You can kind of see them a little bit more. They look nice like that too, but um, yeah, I think it looks cooler when you pull your hair back. Yeah, but she has a lot of earrings like this, so definitely check her stuff out. It's so cool and um, definitely order through Essence. I just wanted to throw these pants in at the very end because I bought these at Cause the other day. I absolutely love the color. They are a tapered trouser. So just for reference, I tried both the size 8 and 10 on. They both fit very similar. So I would say they fit true to size. So I ended up buying them, but when I got them home, I realized there was wool in them. And I didn't realize in the store they were a little bit itchy. I really, really love the fit of them though. So if you guys, if wool does not irritate you, I would really suggest going to get these. 